Greetings and welcome to the Wednesday Morning Vodcast Podcast. Come inside, it's fun inside. Enough of that. Stop it. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the Wednesday morning vodcast podcast. I hope you're loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them. To be completely honest, I had no intentions of sitting down this morning and doing a vodcast podcast. Why is that, you ask? Because I have too much shit going on today. Today is Wednesday, and I didn't get my shit from Matt until late last night. So Lynchburg does took priority this morning. Sucks, I know, but what are you going to do about it? Then um, the lawn guys came earlier than I expected, which is fine. The lawn desperately needed to be done. Um, and I was somewhat satisfied with the results. It was a disaster, so I fully understand it wasn't going to look as good as I really expected it to look. Um, but it's 100 times better than it was. And so for the rest of the summer, I don't got to worry about that and dealing with all of that shit. To be honest, I did pull my lawnmower out the other day. Um, I'm going to try putting gas in it. It hasn't worked in a while, but if I can get it going, I wouldn't mind doing it and maybe just having, you know, a company come in and do it once a month to make it look really good because our hills out front are dangerous to mow. I, I shit you not, like, they're on a, such a pitch. Oh, well, maybe like that. Right around there, probably about a 45-degree angle, that if you're coming across with it, you have to kind of like lean and get in front, not in front of it, but to the side of it, the side downhill. And if it slips, you know, and your foot's there or whatever, it's not worth it. I don't want to lose a foot and I can't afford to get stung by yellow jackets because I am allergic to them. Although I do miss doing the lawn. When I buy a new house, I want a, a yard that's relatively flat because mowing the lawn is actually great exercise and it's a lot of fun when you have a yard that's not like ours. There's so many obstacles in our yard, too. We've got a manhole cover in the back of our yard. Manhole. <laughs> I always like manhole. I don't, not that I always like manhole. I don't dis, I mean, enjoy your manhole if you enjoy your manhole. I just think it's a funny word to say. So why am I here, you're saying? You know, you just tell me, you know, you got all this stuff to do. Grayson's got a dentist appointment at 2.50. Because I got a package in the mail. I think I know who it's from, and I think I know what it is. Uh, I was looking at this. I Sorry, I actually have a um, an XLR, a short XLR cable coming today, and I thought that's what this was. Oh, good Christ. Hang on. Okay. Uh, so it's the G-E-Y-C-E-N, um, which is the first tip-off. And then the second is it's coming from, oh, God, Fuego Spice Company. So uh, I'm going to open this before I say anything about it, because I'm 99% sure I know what's in here. What have I gotten myself into? Um, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready for this? Check out this. This knife's really good at these bags. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> Okay, so this is the White Lightning Challenge. Now, I will say, I, I, I'm very excited about doing this one. I'm, I'm nervous, of course. Um, but 50 meals are donated for every bar sold. So this is actually going to help a really good cause. And I'll put all the information in the comments below today and when I do this challenge, as well as... Ow! God damn it to hell. Uh, so we can, now we've got the little nitro... And the white lightning. This comes from Rick Brady. I'm 99.9% .9 sure on this uh, because of the spelling of my name and because we actually discussed this. We were either going to do the um, Tube of Terror, which I watched some videos of that. And as it is, I don't really like nuts anyway. Like, I don't like crunchy, chewy nuts. I, I, I don't like eating nuts. Shut up. Um, so this is chocolate. I like chocolate. It's white chocolate infused with 12 of the world's hottest peppers. And I love white chocolate, so uh, warning, stupid spicy. Take the hashtag Choco Challenge and support and fight against hunger. That's a cause I can get behind. I'm not going to enjoy this. I know I'm not. I'm really not going to enjoy this one, though. This one is going to be painful. 
Um, this is it, though. I'm just letting you guys know now. I love you guys to death. I appreciate all the stuff you guys send me. I really do. But I am getting out of the hot game after these two. I'm just letting you know. If anything else shows up in the mail, I'm not going to eat it if it's too hot. <laughs> Maybe we could do a sour challenge. That I'd be into that. I don't, there's not really a lot of sour stuff out there. The only thing I saw was a sour pickle ball, which I fucking hate the taste of pickles, so I wouldn't do that anyway. But I, nonetheless, these are going to be fun videos for you and not for me. <laughs> so thank you guys a lot for sending these. Uh, and I will, I, I, I'm psyching myself up right now. I, I almost came in here and did the chocolate one, and I was just like, no. I should probably do the gummy one first, get it out of the way, get the get the worst one out of the way so that at least you have something to look forward to. I have another small update on Let's Get Racist. Um, I haven't been making them because I haven't had really anything to talk about, and I still don't have much to talk about. I'm thinking probably around Mother's Day, I'm going to order a few more kits at that time, whatever's on sale, and then things should really heat up at that point. Um, uh, no one has responded to any of my messages, which is a real bummer. I mean, I don't care, I guess. Sucks, though. I mean, making that effort and trying to reach out to people that you once knew that now apparently either don't remember you or care that you exist. It's depressing. So I got this here. This is from 1974 to 95. I was 20 years old. I think I was 21 when my mother gave this to me. But these are notes, handwritten notes. Uh, through that time and so my plan next is to go through and read all of this and if there's anything that stands out I think it'd be really good to use for let's get racist um, but as of right now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to decode these first because her handwriting is so atrocious look at this dear baby this was written in November 22nd of 1994 that's the first letter my mother ever wrote me not like she wrote a lot of letters outside of this, but... Dear baby, I wanted to write you a letter before you were born so you'd know how much you are loved even now. Your dad and I were required... Re surpri surprised when we knew you were joining our family and a bit appreciated. I'll read this, and if there's anything... <laughs> I'm not going to get into it right now on the Vodcast podcast. That's for Let's Get Racist. Okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go because in all honesty, I do have a shitload of things I have to get done today. Um, anywho, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching them as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Also, we now have merchandise. So if you guys want to check that out, it's in the comments below as well. What we did is we went ahead, took some of our existing designs and put them on t-shirts and mugs and stuff. So if that's something you'd be interested in, you'd be supporting the channel. And I'll let you know, everything was only marked up 5%. Everything is initially set up to 20%. So I am not making dick off of these. Well, I'm making a little bit of dick, just a tiny dick. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care and boy howdy. <laughs> <laughs>